Hey, uh, today is the 14th, Tuesday the 14th. I figured I would hit you with a vlog. I haven't been able to do the Motusworks Monday. I uh, planned on doing one yesterday. My kiddo was sick, so it didn't work out. And then um, I've just been super, super, super busy. Uh, it's the busy, busy time of year, it seems like. Uh, got a lot of things going on, got a lot of irons in the fire. Got a lot of things I need to be doing that I can't do yet because I got to get the other stuff out of the way first. Um, so, yeah, I'm rambling, but I'm super, super busy, and I'm very, very grateful that I'm busy. I thank you for that. So, uh, yeah, uh, again, this is a vlog. Um, it'll just be kind of short and sweet. Uh, I'll show you what I got going on, and I'll show you updates um, for what I have uh, kind of leading up to Blade Show. So. Um, the machine just finished up uh, doing a cycle, so I'm going to show you uh, what's going on there. So this is my Swiss Cube bead setup, and there are six operations. This is the first op. Uh, I was doing first op here, but then I learned that a round part in soft jaws does not work. I'm not a professional machinist. I'm uh, self-taught and taught by. Uh, friends of mine. So uh, thank you Rick and Steve and Nick uh, for, for helping me through whenever I have questions. So um, that's the second op. So first op, second op, third op, fourth op, fifth op, sixth op. There are six sides to a cube so that's why there's six places. So um, every time uh, take a uh, finished one off then this one rotates and so on. They just rotate down the line and then the raw material, and I'll put it in the chuck here, looks like that. All right, so here are finished beads. These are stainless steel, and these are all the, the whole impetus behind these beads was to um, get back to my roots, back to EDC uh, genre in general, um, and, and have something to take with me that I'm proud of uh, to take to blade. Uh, in addition to several spinners, we'll take spinners and buttons, exotic stuff, exotic buttons, all the normal stuff, plus these. So I'm very excited to, to offer these. Um, so yeah, this is my interpretation of what a Swiss cube bead would be. Um, so through holes, nine through holes, um, and then four through holes and a lanyard hole here. And these are designed to take uh, three by 15 millimeter tritium tubes. This is stainless steel. This is the machine finished stainless. And you can see it's still got burrs and stuff on the inside, which I clean those out. Uh, clean it up and clean those out um, before they're ready to go. Under here, these are titanium. These are machine finished titanium. Again, you may see some burrs there. That's just because uh, these are fresh off the machine. Uh, brass, here's the machine finished brass. And we'll walk over here. If I can get my thing turned around. We'll walk over here and nothing at this table. I think I took them in here. Yeah, here they are. So these are, this will be the green when they're finished. So it has a nice satin flat. Satin flat with green accents on the inside. Or I'd say it's mostly green with satin flats. Uh, blue. This is only available in titanium. You can only anodize titanium uh, properly, anyway, in my opinion. So that's a satin flat with blue. Uh, these are Nick's Mascus. These are only going to be for Blade Show. And they turned out really nice. This is the unicorn horn. This is the bold Zerk and titanium pattern. Uh, it's another one of the Zerk and titanium. This is a three alloy. This is uh, two titaniums and a zirconium. These are all materials forged by me. 
I'm trying to stick to my own materials lately. Uh, here's a polished Zerk. There's only one of those available. Uh, then these are brushed, brushed finished Zerk. I'm just cleaned them up. I would have done machine finish, and they look really nice when they're flamed with just a straight machine finish, but I decided to clean it up a little bit, and it just adds that little extra bit of little extra bit of nice uh, and, and luxury to it. It really does feel nice. So those will be available at Blade, uh, as well as the Nyx Mascus will be available at Blade. Uh, this is blasted titanium. Focus, thank you. So I'll do blasted titanium and machine finish titanium. And again, there's nothing wrong with that machine finish, um, in my opinion. Um, but on these, these will have brushed flats. And that's a, it's about a 600 grit finish on those flats. Um, let me turn you back around here. I can. So I ordered today, I ordered um, t shirts for Blade Show. So if you come see me at Blade Show, I will uh, more than likely I'll, I'll uh, have a t shirt to, uh, to sell you or possibly give you. I don't know. We'll see. Um, that maybe that'll be incentive for you to come see me. <laughs> I want more people to come see me, uh, and I've had a lot more people this year tell me that they were coming to see uh, than ever before. So I think it's going to be a really awesome show. Um, I go to Blade Show with the intention of not necessarily making any money. I've never made any money at Blade Show. I've I've brought in um, sales from Blade Show, but I've never broken even. Um, but I do break even, and I actually do very well uh, and I love going to the show because it's making these connections um, and, and getting to meet all the people that I talk to throughout the year so um, yeah if you want to come I would love to see you so trying to think of what else to say oh man I'm all dark I had you point in the wrong direction there we go got you lit up from the sun um, what else is going on? Yeah, so there's something else behind the scenes going on that I've been working on that um, I'll tell you within the next couple weeks. Um, it has to do with that forklift that I that I showed you a, a few weeks ago, and it has to do with uh, with moving some machinery. So, um, what else can I tell you? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you more specifics on that after I get uh, after I get everything straightened out. Um, seal the deal on that. What else? What else? What else? Mm, I'll be taking, um, I won't be taking, I don't think I'll be taking any Megas uh, to the Blade Show because I don't think I'll be done completely with the, with, I'll be close to done, but I won't be done with the pre-order by the time Blade Show rolls around. So there will not be any Megas at Blade Show. Um, I will take some Machinima things. I have some, uh, kind of stuck away for the show specifically uh, and then I will be taking some spinema things, minima things, thinema things and many thinema things. Um, so maybe not a lot but I'll have at least one example of each of those with me at the show I promise. Um, what else? I uh, can't really think of anything else right now. It is beautiful outside. I do, I must say that. The, uh, everything is just looking so nice. The grass is cut, I love it. It looks so good when the grass is cut. The garden is growing. You can't see it, and you can zoom. Yeah, you can. Corn out there, my dad's growing corn in the backyard. Over here, on the other side of the boat, dad's growing uh, over there. It's not gonna zoom that far. He's growing cabbage and squash and cucumbers. And I, yeah, that's that's Dad's project, but I, I'm happy to provide a place for him to uh, to do that. So, all right, guys, um, I'll get this uploaded. I uh, hope everyone has a good day, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's Jonas from the future here. Um, forgot to completely drop the ball on. 
adding info on Blade Show. So Blade Show is June 7th through the 9th in Atlanta. Uh, it is at Cobb Galleria Center, which is right across the interstate from um, the new Braves Stadium. So it's right there in that vicinity. Um, the Also, the beads are going up for sale. Uh, I'm going to do just a small drop. Um, tomorrow, it will be uh, May the 15th at 2 p.m. Central Time. Um, it's going to be the uh, all the finishes that I mentioned in the video will be uh, available and brass is 65 stainless steel is 75 and titanium is 85 regardless of finish and there's going to be a few of each finish available so uh, and then they're going to be limited to two pieces per person so uh, and then the rest everything else that I don't sell tomorrow are going to be going with me to blade I just wanted to let a few out there to, to kind of let people get a taste so all right guys thank you again and uh, we'll see you next time